Right, it's time for us to learn proper English pronunciations. And uh, so let me bring in uh, Willis the Wordmaster, also known as Willis Ocheng, coming uh, to us uh, from Kisumu County. Willis, it's great to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, Betty. And how are you tonight? I'm great, Willis. I've just uh, hosted uh, Honorable Martha Karua, <laughs> the Iron Lady. And so it's a great night here on Friday <laughs> Briefing. <laughs> Well, you know, some of our ladies, Betty, politics aside, mm -hmm. uh, you are calling Mata Karwa the Iron Lady. Yeah. She's also a golden brain in Africa. Mm. And you also listened to Amina Mohammed. Mm -hmm. Some of our ladies deserve a real or a big salute. I like that, Willis. I like that. And that's so true. <laughs> All right, Willis. So I want us to start with a uh, word on the street. Let's let's hear it out let's hear what Ethron 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 Echelon 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 Echelon. Echelon. Ni Akelon. 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 E Shelon. E Shelon. Eklon. 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 So Willis, is it Ezron or <laughs> <laughs> Echelon or Ekelon, which one is it, Willis? Well, Betty, English pronunciations, uh, some of them are very tricky and tricky right. for anybody you'd think about. Anyway, it reminds me about uh, that ardent, uh, you know, fan of uh, Friday Briefing, that is mm -hmm. Michael Opere of Mbale. He was mm. also asking me whether we say laundering or mm -hmm. money laundering so right. i told him laundering and laundry. also laundry not laundry but ah. that aside also betty we say echelon echelon oh. the digraph ch mm -hmm. takes the sound sh just like in the word chef or champagne uh -huh. so you don't say echelon you don't say echelon <laughs> and all the other versions that you've had tonight <laughs> That's a surprise, Willis. Uh, ech echelon, is that correct? Echelon. Echelon. Hey, that's a yes. surprise. I, I, I couldn't have pronounced it that way. I would have said Eklon or Ekeron. <laughs> well, it let's happens. Move on. It happens, Betty. Yeah. Let's move on to the next one, Willis. Now, do we say peninsula or is that the correct pronunciation for that word? Peninsula. The terminal part has siu, siula. Oh. Siula. So you say peninsula. Uh -huh. Peninsula. Peninsula. Yes, not peninsula. All right. Yes. Got it, Willis. Willis, let's yes. move on to another word. Now, this one comes from one of our viewers here. And uh, they want to know do we say university or university? That z or. I've always talked about what we call voiced sound that mm. is that sound that is produced with the vibration of the vocal cords right now that is where we talk of z but that z is not in that word mm -hmm. we say university city just like oh. universe diversity not diversity okay so university okay well is that's also another surprise because most of us say university so that means we've been wrong <laughs> all along. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We never stop to learn, Willis. University. University it is. Willis, that is let's, it. let's move on to another word. Now, this one is, uh, do we say severe, like I have a severe headache, or is it severe headache? Is it sa or si? Which one is it? Well, surprisingly enough, Betty, that is my surprise word for tonight. Oh, okay. And, of course, you are talking about this word if I'm not wrong. Right. So, this word, Betty, we say severe. 
severe, uh -huh. not severe. Many people say severe headache, uh -huh. but it should be C, severe. Yeah. Just like we talk of persevere, persevere, uh -huh. not oh, persevere, yeah. the way we say it locally. Persevere, oh. severe. All right. That's a surprise, Willis. I yeah, didn't know are. that we pronounced it <laughs> that way. <laughs> Willis, <laughs> any other words from your end? Well, it's like today you are handing it over to me. I yes. just want to take uh, you through uh, certain words, right. uh, if I'll remember correctly. One, uh -huh. somebody asked about alumni. Alumni, that oh. is the plural of alumnus. In most cases, we say alumni. alumni. So we should say, and that is in English, <laughs> we say alumni from alumnus. We also <laughs> say buoyant, buoyant, not buoyant, uh -huh. buoyant. buoyant. We also say life boy, life mm -hmm. boy, not life boy. <laughs> then the other word is recipient. Uh -huh. We don't say re, you say re, okay. recipient. recipient. Another word that came from, I think, Eldoret uh -huh. is supervisory visory uh -huh. supervisory but you can also say supervisory <laughs> what we should avoid is supervisory uh -huh. <laughs> then second last appease appease a not appease ah, to appease someone somebody or to appease the ancestors ah. then there is a short form or if you like what we call a contraction many people say doesn't from does not. Uh -huh. The contraction is not doesn't. Uh -huh. You say doesn't. He doesn't, doesn't. like beer. Uh. Doesn't like tea. Uh -huh. Not doesn't. Then to finish, Betty, there is a lady by the name Joyce Mwende from uh -huh. Machakos uh -huh. who asked about regime or regime. Uh -huh. A very tricky word. Yes, that yes, is for yes. feedback. That word is regime. regime, regime, not regime, the way we commonly say it locally. And mm -hmm. very finally are the two confusing words. Hey, Willis, you're on fire tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You've given me the chance and, you know, when you give a musician a chance to play or to <laughs> give you a song, expect a real song. So here you're giving <laughs> Willis the chance to deal with pronunciation. So here we are, Betty. <laughs> now, the upper word, yeah. the upper word is sensa. sensa. That is S O R at uh -huh. the end. You say sa. Sensa. sensa. But the word below is censure. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Censure. Right. Not sensa. So we should always <laughs> distinguish the two pronunciations when we are dealing with careers of serious communication. Betty, how are you tonight? <laughs> hey, Willis, to, you know, to, tonight, you know what, you, uh, you, know, you took it away and, you know, you ran the show. Now, Willis, <laughs> the one that has caught me, uh, my attention, is the alum, alumni. Is that correct? Alumni. Alumni, alumni. When we are alumni. talking in English, mm -hmm. we say alumni. That letter okay. U takes the mid central vowel sound uh. Alumni, uh, uh, uh. alumni. Okay. And remember, the singular form is alumnus. Alumna. That's a surprise, Willis, because you know but I've always thought I'm an alumni <laughs> of the day State University, <laughs> but uh, now I know I'm an alumni. Well, sometimes. <laughs> You know what I have also to remind people, Betty, mm. which we must accept when we talk matters, linguistics, or yeah. languages, you know, uh, pronunciations are not always judged strictly as correct in mm. terms of one plus one equals two. Yeah. Because certain words have more than one acceptable pronunciation. pronunciation. Right, Willis. Always a pleasure there having you on the show. I think I like it when you take <laughs> the lead and, you know, go, run with it. But thank you so much, Willis, for tonight's uh, lesson. It has been something. It has been actually <laughs> quite something from the echelon. You gave me the chance, and I hope I've utilized that chance. <laughs> yes, Only that you can remind them, it's always also on Willis Ocheng one. one. That right. is on Twitter. Right. Willis Ocheng one on Twitter at Willis Ocheng one.
Um, you can follow him on Twitter to get more and more pronunciation lessons. Thank you so much, Willis, and uh, see you next week, God willing. Right. It's been Willis, the word master there, joining us from Kisumu County. You know, teaching us those difficult ones, those difficult pronunciations like alumni, not alumni. Right. Uh,